controversy over a fallen officer memorial. Four years after his tragic death, Cleveland officer David Fahey killed while directing traffic on I-90 near Lakewood. There's a sign standing where the officer lost his life, and now ODOT is saying the thin blue line police flag sitting under it has to go. Kelly Kennedy talked to the officer's family. She is live with their frustration over this. Kelly, what are they saying? Tiffany and Chris, they are pretty upset. Now, this memorial is behind me on Highway I-90, and part of it is approved by the state, but part of it also isn't. And ODOT's saying it's really nothing personal, but these flags, they've just got to come down. It is personal because if you drive along the highways, you'll see your political signs. You'll see your other um, special interest signs that are up along the highway. Those are still there. Jackie Ketterer lost her son, 39-year-old Cleveland police officer David Fahey on January 24th, 2017. And she hasn't been the same since. The loss of a child is devastating. And unless you've been in my shoes, and there are plenty of people who have, you'll never understand. The Ohio Department of Transportation put up a brown road sign after the General Assembly designated this stretch of I-90 as the Officer David Fahey Memorial Highway. Every year on the anniversary of Officer Fahey's death, his friends from the police academy do something to honor him. Before this, we had been putting up a uh, thin blue line flag underneath it since his sign went up and uh, they wanted something that would last. ODOT says they've received a couple of complaints about the flags and the agency says they must come down. I'm very upset because I feel betrayed by the public and the community that my son served because they're taking one or two person's personal objective and using it to take this flag down. ODOT sent us a statement that reads in part, if an item poses a safety hazard, impedes our ability to do our job, or we receive complaints, ODOT's standard procedure is to attempt to identify the owner and reunite them with the item. But you feel like this was specifically targeted because of the current anti-police push? I feel like if there wasn't so much public support to be against the police, that it wouldn't have been such an easy and swift decision to make. Now, as of this afternoon, when we were out there, both the thin blue line flag and sign are still up, but ODOT says they are coming down soon. The family tells me they're going to keep fighting to keep both of those up. For now, reporting live in Lakewood, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.